I want to document this as much as possible since I've never done it before. Look how fat I look in camera. <laughs> I'm the same size in person, baby. Anyway, I want to document this as much as I can. Right now, I'm on the way to meet this guy to pick up rods, pistons, main bearings, rod bearings, ARP studs for all the bottom end, head studs, a brand new head, beehive uh, springs, valve springs, new intake and exhaust valves, valve guides, valve seals, timing, etc. This is unbelievable. Literally everything to make this Genesis fully built. Now, unfortunately, I will have to. I can break. I can break in on this tune, but uh, it's a can tune. So what that means is, it's kind of poopy. You can't open it up. You can't see live data. Blah blah blah. I need to get a hall tech for this car, so we can really start turning off the booze. Also, need a fuel pump. You know, different injectors, ethanol content sensor, all that good stuff for E85. But uh, one step at a time. And I got a smoking deal on this. So what all we get, huh? What, what all we get with this whole deal? I'll show you. This is the engine I picked up in Tennessee. Really cheap. And I'm not one of those YouTubers where I'm gonna hide the price from you. I paid $150 for this engine. And transmission. Don't mind the mess, but that tranny right there. 5.0 out of a Ford. So I got the engine and trans for 150 bucks. And it came with a factory turbo which already sold a part off of it, the wastegate right here. So I don't need any of that because I already got a different setup. But, um, came with the turbo, factory cat, and even the freaking oil filter. I mean, it was complete, all complete. Minus, minus a few cut wires here and there, uh, a few cut heater hoses there. Okay, what'd we get? What'd we get with, with, with the deal, okay? So for starters, we got a used block, didn't need it, but he threw it in. Block there. Brand new Hyundai head. Well, this one has a blown head gasket, supposedly. Uh, that's all that was wrong with it. I mean, I turned it over by hand. Obviously I couldn't do a compression test because, you know, are we zoomed in too far? Uh, brand new Hyundai head, intake manifold. Um, and then here's the goodies over here. So we got K1 rods, we got 86 millimeter wise car pistons. Uh, brand new oil pump, harmonic balancer, ARP, whatever these are, head studs. I know some of these are head studs and some of these are, you know, rods and mains, but uh, I don't know if it says on it, four cylinder. These are probably mains. They look like it. Oh, these are definitely the head studs. Thick boys. Timing, timing set. I believe those are for the cam. Cams, cams, yeah. I uh, got used buckets. I don't know if these will work. We'll have to, when I get to that point, we'll have to uh, check tolerances, but um, I'm really excited actually. Uh, came with GSC stage two cams. And I've been told that you have to grind the head a little bit so the lobe can clear the head, which seems crazy to me. Um, and this little box here, this is stuff for the head as well. Intake and exhaust valves. We got cam bearings, valve seals. Uh, I believe there's keepers in here too. Oh no, the keepers are right here. Keep the head stuff with the head. All the valve keepers and stuff. And that's pretty much in that box there. Intercooler kit, all the piping and everything to go with it. Um, and then I got a box of goodies here, which is miscellaneous stuff. We got a fill cap. Which, why does it have, hmm, interesting. Um, and fittings for the valve cover. Shift knob, RTV, drain plug, just miscellaneous stuff. But yeah, I can't wait to start tearing into this thing and actually go through with it, um, like my other videos, like that LS I did, which is literally right there. See how far that made it. This one is actually going, like, gonna be done. I've got a buddy that did this same thing to the engine. I don't know, he didn't use K1 rods. The whole bucket thing really, I, it's just unknown territory. So just have to figure that out, use some feeler gauges, you know? Because the buckets, if you look at these buckets, my buddy today told me that there's numbers on the inside. 
which that gives you your 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 thickness from my understanding which is like a um, almost like a shim um, so these come in all different thickness you can get all kinds of numbers um, basically these ride on top of the valve springs and the cam is this the cam rides on top of these so it pushes down on the valve um, obviously different thicknesses is going to open or close open the valve further or less and we're talking like thousands of an inch here um, but if it's the wrong buckets when the lobe is off of the bucket you know on like the top as it's coming around if this is the wrong thickness the, the the actual diameter of the lobe will hold the valve open a little bit if it's touching the bucket. Obviously, you're not gonna have any compression or anything. And I think my one buddy that built his engine had that same problem uh, with the, the machine shop that put his head together. They didn't have the right buckets in, so it's actually holding the vi valves open a little bit. Um, so obviously, there's you can't build a compression that way. Valve's gotta be sealed. Um, let's take a peek at this head real quick. I think this is, my, I showed a picture to my buddy. He's a, he was a Hyundai tech, now he's a Ford tech, but he said this is like Hyundai packaging. So, I mean, it's got some signs of wear on it. Not much. So I almost have to believe this is a brand new head. Oh, yeah. It's definitely brand new, I believe. So yeah, that was, this is neat. Like I said, supposedly this engine here So yeah, supposedly this has a bonehead gasket, so this is going to be perfect. It'll save me some time in the machine shop when I can just set this one on and we can be good to go. Um, I don't know if those are the buckets in this, obviously the spring set. And this has got the valve guides in them. That's one thing I wanted to check too. But see how it's got some wear? Like it's been in use before? Hmm, that's strange. Maybe they do something I don't know about at the factory. I'm not sure. Only you would buddy that built this engine before. He didn't take his bottom end of the machine job. Um, basically, just checked everything, checked his tolerances and stuff on the crank, uh, plastic gauged it, double checked, triple checked everything. Actually, help was there to help him do that. And I asked him if um, if that's all you need to do. And he said that's all he did. And his car his car runs great. Another timing cover there which I think is a pretty smoking deal. This engine supposedly only had 70,000 miles on it. I don't know if that's true or not. Judging by the looks of it, it could be, because it is relatively clean. Um, but yeah, y'all stay tuned and I'll try to get these videos out as quick as I can um, to show you the progress and you know when I have time to work on it. So yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one with this.